Doug MPA back with another video. Guys, I found this article on Your Tango, one of my favorite sites to get content off of. It says, if these seven things describe you, you're probably demisexual. And if you've been dating online for any length of time, stop capping, guys. 60% of people meet online. So most of you have dated online. Don't cap. You've seen this term on women's profiles, along with pansexual and other terms that a lot of us guys don't understand. And so th this article is called, if these seven things describe you, you're probably demisexual. We're going to go through this. But demisexual is a woman who can't give a man relationship or physical affection until they're friends first and they find an emotional connection. Now, the problem with that is that a woman friend will cost you more mentally and monetarily than a male friend every single time. And I'll say it right now at the beginning of this video, demisexual women should be avoided at all costs. So we're going to get into this article. Before I do, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And let's look at the seven things that describe a demisexual. This is from Raven Fawn. <laughs> According to Wired, the term demisexual first appeared on the internet on a forum for asexual education back in 2006. Since then, it has slowly gained popularity with use. Although the term is fairly new, the condition of being demisexual has been around for quite some time. This PhD says, demisexuals see relationships as a friendship that catches fire. I would say a lot of women in particular operate this way, and I would agree with that. Because I think women use the term demisexual as another um, way to, to disqualify men that they don't deem attractive. Tell me I'm lying. A common demisexual definition is a person who does not experience sexual attraction unless they form an emotional connection. Now, the problem with a lot of these um, demisexual women is that certain guys can seem to form an emotional connection on the first night and get some on the first night, whereas it'll take the next guy seven months to form an emotional connection. That in lies the problem. Basically, it means that a person will not feel an attraction to someone until they become friends, make each other laugh, and compare emotional notes. Where a lot of people can see someone and tell instantly if they find them attractive, a demisexual usually has a man response. It's all in the EQ, which means it's completely subjective, guys. Once again, one guy will get it, will, will get the emotional connection in, in two hours. The next guy, it'll take freaking two years. So let's look at these seven things. One, you don't flirt. Also, you don't really know how to flirt. When you're being kind or generous, that is just who you are. You're not doing it because you want someone to like you. You may laugh at their jokes and hold eye contact, but that is a sign that friendship and emotional connections are being made. Two, you enjoy stimulating conversations. Even if they're about the most random, silliest things, a conversation that is enthralling is one that gives you a natural high. It's such a treat for you to be able to find someone who can chat with, who you can chat with on just about any topic. The truth is, it is a major turn on. And the problem with that is that a lot of women, especially as I get older, a lot of women are just boring. And the stuff that they talk about is boring. And women talk, it's like women talk about their problems just to talk about them and not to go towards solutions. Whereas men, we like to talk about meaningful stuff. You are drawn to authentic personalities and not looks. Some people are attracted to certain body types, heights, and eye colors. Then there are demisexuals who are attracted to people who are free to be themselves. Showing emotions is something that they are instantly drawn to as well as intelligent conversations. So first off, we are living in the six foot tall, six figures. Women want the top 15% of, uh, of men day and age now. So this is all cap right here. All cap. They are looking for the authentic personality with the guys that have the qualifiers first. And then you know, don't get me started on this showing emotions thing, guys. We all know that's false. Four, and this is one of the most important ones, guys. You are often accused of friend zoning. Demisexuality may make forming romantic or, or Sexual relationships more difficult for some people. Demisexuals often make first impressions of just being friends, which may make those they are interested in value the relationship less. It's never bad to be friends first, but others might not share the same point of view. I disagree with this wholeheartedly. Guys, don't date a woman that you're friends with because she will always see going back to friendship as an option. 
which gives her another out to leave you when things get bad. Well, we could just be friends again. No, we can't. Don't date friends. Don't do it, guys. It's a recipe for disaster. You do not understand one night stands. How can anyone have a physical connection to someone without first making contact with their mind and their heart? To you, that makes absolutely no sense. Once again, all women have that man that they'll give it up to on the first night. And these demisexuals seem to, to justify, oh, I just had a sudden emotional connection with this guy after two hours of meeting this guy. It's a cope and a cop out. This PhD says, demisexuals can and do enjoy sex, but only with people they form an emotional attraction to beforehand. Most people have a physical primary attraction to another person, similar to how our ancestors once did. But for you, simply the primary attraction is emotional. This is another important one. Sleeping with someone means sleeping. When you say you want to sleep with someone, what you mean is exactly that. You want to feel them next to you, find comfort in their warmth, and fall asleep next to them. <laughs> Guys, this website, man, I swear. So, to them, to a demisexual, Netflix and chill literally means Netflix and chill. Getting flued out literally means they want to get flown out to a, a, a location and like hang out with you. That no man, this is all cap. Seven, you are the one who wants to be committed. Some people shy away from commitment, but not you. It takes you a long time to build up emotional connection strong enough to where you admit, yes, I like this person. Not everyone will relate to this, particularly a lot of men. It, I've I've never met a guy who says he's pansexual. Or, a demisexual. And guys, put in the comments why you think that is. Because men are simple, that's why. And men, here's the thing. when they, A lot of women say men want nothing but sex. I would say that's true. And I would also add to that a man will not get to know a woman in a, in a relationship way until he's had sex with her first. And that's why we want to have sex with you ladies. We can't switch our brain from phase two until phase one has happened first. Why put emotional and any kind of investment into a woman before sex has happened. Why do that? Because however, having a word, having a word to finally explain what you have been feeling this whole time and why you would never put it into words is helpful to people. If you relate to this, you're probably demisexual. Anyone can be one. Any woman can be one. These are the seven things. Let's go over them. You don't flirt. You enjoy stimulating conversations. You are drawn to authentic personalities, not looks. You are often attracted. No, you are often accused of friend zoning. You do not understand one night stands. Sleeping with someone means sleeping with someone, and you are one who wants to be committed. Guys, once again, avoid women like these at all costs. It's not worth it. It's not. Okay? Because you're going to be putting out all the effort, and she's going to be on the receiving end, and and won't feel the need to reciprocate anything that you give until she feels an emotional connection. And that is completely su subjective from man to man. You have to do work that the other guy did, didn't have to do. You can't tell me that some of these demisexuals haven't felt emotionally connected to a guy in the first hour that she's met the guy. And then she's sleeping with the guy in the backseat of a car. So let me know what you think about this. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one.